Okay, how does the code for sign-in work? Uh, before we look at it, let me just show you what happens when you try to log in with someone that doesn't exist. Okay, uh, so the sign, uh, the login one page, uh, okay, we've got a type equals email there, so I have to type an email, so that's uh, clearly rubbish there. Uh, Non-existing uh, user, so I should get an error message uh, okay, so we're going to go to login two, but we should bounce back to this page with the error message appearing here, up here with a red background. Okay, and there it is there. Okay, so notice it says login two here, but it's actually bouncing me back uh, to login one. So we'll explore this um, uh, in, 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 in this video. Okay, so what I would encourage you to do is to try and log in with these three different users. Okay, and also log in with the, with, with your own user that hopefully you've successfully managed to sign up with uh, with a photograph uh, earlier. Okay, and you'll see that these three users, uh, when they've successfully signed in, we go to a separate page. Okay, so how does all this code work? Uh, login uh, one.php uh, if we are oh yeah um, let's just bring this back uh, here for a second uh, and let's come in here let me just copy this here okay and run this in Firefox okay so I am trying to sneak in, just like I, we tried to sneak in with with sign up two. This is login two, so I'm in a different browser. Uh, it doesn't have a record of me having gone into login one. Uh, okay, so I'll just try and do this, uh, and you notice what happens is I'm bounced back to login one. Okay, so uh, the the sneaky approach to sign in won't work, and earlier we saw the the sneaky approach to sign up won't work. Okay, so that's good. We we have to sort of think about all these, uh, all these things uh, when we're signing in and signing up. So back to the code. Uh, login one. Okay, so the usual thing. Um, uh, if it's our first time, okay, just like we did with sign up one. Okay, so if if the submit button hasn't been pressed, if it hasn't been pressed or set, it's still set or still at null. OK, uh, so we have an empty error message and bad data is two. OK, bad data is two. We are not going to put this error message in. OK, so we are going to set bad data equals one. If it is uh, invalid username. OK, so with sign in or login, uh, we want to find one record already exists when we do a select. OK. If one record does not exist, i.e. we could have no records, we could have more than one. If we have more than one, we, we've got a real big problem with our database. Okay, uh, it means somebody was able to sign in more than once uh, earlier on. So that's a problem. Okay, so we shouldn't allow that to happen. So bad date equals one, uh, and we get this error message appearing. Okay, um, somebody could be just chancing their arm. Uh, so... Tell the user there's a problem, but uh, don't be too specific, uh, okay, because uh, somebody might be just trying to kind of think, okay, well, is it the user, is it the username or is it the password is incorrect, uh, okay, because you're, you're trying to be as secure as possible uh, in your site. Uh, so what is in login one? Very basic, uh, just a form, two form elements, okay, their password, their user. Okay, so we click on the submit button, we go to login two. What's the story with login two? Uh, connection code. Uh, if I try to sneak in, I am going to basically be sent back to login one. That's what this is doing here. Okay, so there's the user. Uh, if the user is not empty, that means the user has typed something in. And if you notice from here, this is required. Okay, so you can't get to login two via login one unless you've typed something in. Okay, if you've typed something in, 
into the user and the password, well then that means uh, the user cannot be empty. Okay, so if we've gone in through here, uh, we're going to go into the else here. Okay, because the user is not empty. Okay, so what am I doing here? I'm just setting bad data to zero. Uh, and if there's a problem, we can we can set that to one. Okay, so I get my two pieces of information here. Uh, I am going to uh, sanitize the username just in case an SQL injection attack has been attempted. Uh, and then I am running a select. Okay. Uh, we fetch all. Uh, hopefully, we, we, we return one record. Okay, so at this stage, you could ask, well, hold on, why don't you try fetch rather than fetch all? Uh, because fetch all is more complete at this stage. Okay, um, we, I, I'm, I'm trying to check for the possibility that the same user is in, is in the database table twice. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. I could have other code to deal with that. I don't have it here, but I just want to make sure that um, the number of records uh, that we we can check the number of records. If we do a fetch uh, and there are two records, we're just going to get the first record. Okay, we won't get the second succeeding records. Okay, so fetch all will will select all the records where the username matches uh, a record in that table. Okay, so all queries. Count the number of records in there, uh, array length, just like we did with sign up. Uh, hopefully, array length in this case will be one. Okay, if it's not one, we have a problem. Set bad data to one. Uh, if it is one, we are going to go into this else here. Okay, so we're doing all that code there down to line 75. Okay. Uh, so now I'm getting the hash password from the username. Okay. I'm getting the user status. These are two things I need to use in order, uh, to actually log in. Okay. Uh, and when I log in, okay. If you notice this page here has no HTML in it. Okay. So if I successfully log in, I want to go to another page. Administrator, if the user status is one. Ordinary user, if the user status is zero. Status unknown, otherwise, i.e. if uh, user status equals two. Okay, so I want to get the user status. Okay, user underscore status is the name of the database table uh, field. I'm storing that in here. Uh, I'm also getting the hash password. Okay, that 128 character string. I'm storing that in there. Okay, now. If you think about what I've done here, uh, I have gotten a record here, but notice I'm not checking if the password is the same. Okay, because what I have to do now is I have to take the password, dollar password, where's that coming from? That is coming from the previous page. Okay, so I'm going to get the password from the previous page, storing it in dollar password here. Uh, what I need to do with that is I need to hash that and I need to compare it with the hashed version that's stored in the database table. Okay, so those two have to be equal. Okay, so I'm not comparing passwords. I'm comparing the hashed version of what I signed in with, with the hashed version version that's stored in the database table. Okay, so just be aware, aware about that. Uh, sign up to, I'm using password underscore hash. Log in to, I'm using password underscore verify. Okay, so over here, we've already, this is already hashed. Okay, the first parameter is the password or the string to be hashed. Okay, so we're going to, basically, we're running password underscore hash with that. We're comparing it to what's already been hashed and stored in the database table. And then we're going to verify, okay, are those two exactly the same, same length, each character being the same. Okay, and we're storing that basically in a PHP variable, which essentially is a Boolean. Okay, because you can see here line 54, if dollar verify, in other words, if dollar verify equals true. Uh, so 
if the hashed password is the same as the hashed version that was typed in by the user in login one we are going to go in here okay so what are we going to do we are going to start the session that's going to create the uh, session file that we looked at earlier in the first video okay and i'm going to write something into it what am i going to write i'm going to write the username uh, and i'm going to store that in login underscore user okay so i'm just writing something into the session um, so we can write into the session and we can access it okay so in this case uh dollar underscore session login user is on the left hand side of it equals so i'm writing into it okay Whereas here I am reading from it. Okay, so I'm in now. Uh, if I'm in here, it means that uh, the username and password are okay. So now I can direct uh, the logged in person to the appropriate page. Okay, and the appropriate page is going to depend on the user status. Okay, so I just have a if else if else set up here. Uh, user status can be one zero or two uh, and depending on what the user status is i'm using the uh, header command here to go to the relevant page okay and what i'm also doing here is just uh if you notice here question mark user equals okay this is going to appear in the url uh, in the browser Okay, um, this exit is actually probably not going to work at all. Okay, but, uh, there's no need for it actually uh, because we've actually gone to the uh, appropriate page. Okay, um, if verify is false, if there's a difference between what the user has typed in, uh, let's run that okay so let's do let's type in mary here uh here she is and then obviously not m4ry we have a problem okay so you can see we've bounced back uh to the page okay so that's that's what happens uh here bad data equals one uh, and if that's true we are going to basically go back to login one dot php bad date equals one we see the error message uh, so that is the code there uh, there's some notes there on include versus uh, versus header okay uh, so let's um, something else I wanted to mention it's just gone off the top of my head um, but that is the story here. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, let me come in here. Okay, so I'm trying to sign in. Okay, Mary, let's sign in properly. M4RY. Uh, you can just see up here. Okay, uh, question mark user equals Mary at B.C and just the word administration in capital letters. Okay, so I'm just putting that up there. Uh, you wouldn't normally do that. You would just do a location equals administrator.php. Uh, close quotation marks okay but um what i am just doing here is just just so you can see uh the message up there 